Uh, we're gonna try Trap Tower. Oh my God! No. Revengeance. No, it's okay. Trap Tower. This time, it's different. You know what you're doing now? Look. I think I know what you're doing actually. So, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I remember rewatching it, and I was like, "Oh, that's that's what we had to do." I'm gonna do this in record time. I mean, not actually. Like, I'm not speed running this. I'm not going for the record. But compared to what we've been doing, this is gonna be pretty professional. Oh, if I wouldn't have bumped that guy. Oh well, I touched it. Fuck. See, he's this guy's hurrying me. You're too. Come on, you gotta focus. I learned something though. Slow Check down. this out. Look, you Slow. can stop bombs mid kick. Sliding. Oh. What? Oh. Okay, so how do I fix this? How do I fix this situation? Um, how do I get the audience, the people back on my side? This guy's running around. Did it hit the switch again? The first switch? That's impossible. Look at it. Oh, oh, maybe. But I can't go back. So what do I do? Step on the, just run across. Is there like a safe way to... No? You just have to kill yourself. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I walked into that guy's shit, so that worked out. Well, that's stupid. Anyway, there's no way to fix your mistakes. It's like real life. This is the best. This is the most <laughs> realistic game ever. This is the best way to learn life lessons. Bomberman 64. Play Bomberman 64. Trap Tower <laughs> specifically. Best way to learn life lessons. Skip Hudson, all the other levels. Just Hudson go straight Soft. to this one. Yep. Do one of those cheats. Cheat codes. Yep. Oh, dude, you know what I was talking? See, okay. The, I, the codes, what? Oh, go ahead. Go I ahead. love I love this. I love, like, little bits of video game culture. Yes. Like, especially retro culture. Yes. I feel like it's getting lost. Yes. But. What? I remember, and I was talking to a coworker about this, like, strategy guides, right? Like, oh, yeah. Prima strategy guides. <laughs> like, holy they, hell, how awesome are those things, they right? They cornered the market. But we were broke, you know? we were Everyone was broke as mm -hmm. a child. We couldn't afford that. Parents no. weren't going to buy that shit for me. So I remember, like, specifically we would go to Walmart or Meyer, one of those big department stores with a video game department, and just sitting there, setting up shop for, like, a good hour, maybe two hours, depending oh. on how long the parents were yes. taking shopping. And then Dude. just, like, oh, fuck you. absorbing everything about all the games that I would ever want to play. I did that play, at Barnes & you know? Noble, like a and fiend. I would do it with games. That's how I learned to beat the first Metal Gear Solid. Oh, wow. Was I stopped by an electronics boutique when it was still EB before GameStop bought it. And I looked at the strategy yep. guide for Metal Gear Solid. And it was like, oh, Man. an effective tip for when Liquid, because I couldn't beat Rex. So it was basically like. Oh, yeah, you got far. I was going to say, like, it depends on where you were. Nail the shit out of the Ray Dome, and then you have to hide underneath, like, pretty much underneath the robot when he has his shit open. Spoilers. Uh, Sorry, when, he has, when he's got his fly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> when he's got his fly open, just, yeah, just hide underneath him. Um, yeah, I used to Barnes and Noble because it was like a specifically a bookstore. Always had like all the players' guides. Yeah. And so on the rare occasion I was there, because uh, we only had one where we were growing up, and it wasn't like a ta it was a standalone Barnes and Noble. So it was like I wasn't there that often. It wasn't attached to a mall or yeah, anything else. Yeah. Wow. The, the times. So it was rare that I actually went there. Um, but when I, I remember specifically looking at the Shadows of the Empire player's guide. Oh, yeah. I can't remember if it was on how to beat a level, but um, it at the very least it was um, where to find some of those challenge points, the silver rebel icons that like unlock, oh, unlock yeah. shit. The could shit. In the level with the speeder bikes, the air speeders, the, um, the endor bikes on Tatooine when you're going to oh, meet man. Luke. Yeah, did we play that? We played oh, that, Oh, yeah, we right? got that far. We stopped before we the should... ridiculous part of the oh. game, which is the last... Uh, the last act. The last... How do I say this? It's the last two of... It's... Jesus Christ. Two of the last three levels are hard as fuck. The final, final level isn't that bad. But the two levels before it where you're... Because the last level of the game is in a ship. You're in your ship again. It's like the asteroid level, except you can control oh, where you're yeah. flying. Because uh, in the asteroid level, you're just shooting asteroids and your robot uh, pilots the ship. But in um, in this last level, you have full control. And it's it's basically a Death Star level. 
um, kind of same idea. It's really cool, but it's, it's doable. Beat that. We should do that sometime. We're going to get back to that game eventually, mark my words. But the levels, the two levels before that where you're on foot still are fucking horrible. And we got to the first of those, and I'm like, we actually, the level before that, those two, the frigate, or the, yeah, the, um, I used to always, I could never, I always misread that word as freight, like a different spelling of freight that was just a type of ship, but it's frigate, F-R-I-G-A-T-E. Also a type of ship, right? Oh, oh, but it is a freighter. Oh, and that, it's Imperial Freighter Saprosa, and I always read it as fighter weird, and I was like, why'd they fuck up fighter? <laughs> oh my God. But I knew what, I don't know, I think I knew what freight, Aww. fuck me! Game over, it's a game God over, Ben. It. Shadows of the Empire did us in. Did us in. We, we gotta talk about it. You, everybody's That's talking about it. Shit. But no, the level before God. that is not so hard as it is really boring, that ship level with all the crates and shit. You remember that? Yeah. I, I don't like so. that level. But we did it. We got through it. We fought no. through that. Anyways. Yeah. Those fucking strategy guides. I would read books about games I had never even played before. Like, I remember reading about Code Veronica before ever having oh. even played it. I'm sure I would do that, too. I just couldn't tell you what And what just for. because I didn't have, like, because it was on GameCube only for a long time, I oh, think. Oh, what? No, 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 it wasn't. Dreamcast. Dream. Oh, that was it. Oh, that was so weird. Yeah. I forget. I always forget about the Dreamcast, man. It's a wild card. The wild card in the corner just Ahead waiting. of its time. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, in addition to that strategy guide, this was when I was much younger, like PS1, N64 days. Fucking cheat code books. Yep. Like going to a Kroger and they Just had like the magazine aisle. All the Remember? debug codes. For like, like or, or, or like the book magazine aisle. Yeah. In a Kroger or something. One million cheat codes. And then, yeah, just picking up that you. book. I'd have like a pencil and paper with me ready to go. And then just like just jot every single cheat code down. Yo, to get by in the 90s, you had to be like thrifty. <laughs> you had to know how to get the deals and steals when you were a kid. When you were a kid like, and you had no money for yourself. Yeah. Your parents won't with spend the, shit with on video that. game <laughs> knowledge and know-how. It was oh man, it was, it was a crazy a time. Commodity. It was a fun time, man. We were just winging I'm it. I'm trying to think of other players' guides I had. I had a few. You actually but had I, most games. I didn't like need them for. I mean, outside of just getting to the end of the game. Yeah. Um, I don't know about like a hundred percenting stuff. What games have you a hundred percented with? I I mean, I can't even remember what I did and didn't use help for, but just with like a strategy guy at all, like. Oh, I definitely um, you know what? cleared Jurassic Park really? the, for the SNES. There's no way you can beat that game, and you, there's no save file. It's just. And I'm talking about games where it's like, like I beat all the Sonic games where like, oh, you got all the Chaos Emeralds, you got the better ending. But I'm talking about like games where there's like lots of stuff to miss on the way. Yeah. Like I full cleared Donkey Kong 64 straight up. Oh no! I guy. got a 101 percent. Oh, are you asking about games not using a guide that you've? No, no, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, I can't remember if I used, like, even just printed off internet info for that one or not, because yeah. there's so much to get in that game. It's a rareware yeah. game, 3D game, like Banjo-Kazooie. I can't, maybe I full cleared that game, too. I don't know. I just had so much time on my hands as a kid. Oh, well, I definitely did all the Crash Bandicoots without a guide. I'm nice. Pretty sure at some yeah, the point. games where you could figure it out. Yeah, it just took infinite amount of time, like, as a child, which you had. In, the Donkey, in Donkey Kong 64, and with Banjo-Kazooie, the, like... Every level had like a hundred like dumb things to get. In Banjo Kazooie, it was music notes. In Donkey Kong 64, it was bananas, but a hundred for all five characters. So it was 500 a level. Oh my god. Um, Collective but they were the always they were always arranged. Oh no, yeah, that's uh, they were the <laughs> like the originators. But they're always arranged in like groups or in a way where it's kind of like almost guided you, and so. It was definitely doable a if you paid attention. Order. Like, if you got a feel for the way that game was designed. Yeah. It was, oh, geez, it was right. doable. Definitely. Okay. You get the hang of it. Um, But I will say I have recently learned that there is, like, a very recently discovered coin in that game that was, like, hidden in a bush. Or, yeah, it was hidden under a mound in a bush. Like, you know, Nintendo 64 bushes where it's just, like, no a prism, a hollow prism. Well, yeah, because you couldn't, no one could see the mound. Because there's a character who can pound those and, like, unlock, get extra items But it's just a coin, right? So it doesn't... Yeah, no, it's totally has no impact. It's, like, completely outside of the counters and stuff. But the game does go to, fuck me! It's so... <sighs> Close. I got there on one life, though, so it's okay. Um, 
yeah, it's completely inconsequential of the game, but it's like it's there, so full clearers. And now, like, speedrunners who want to full clear the game, like, they have to. What the fuck happened there? I thought there was a ramp there! Crying out loud. Okay, I'm gonna beat this level. I'm not gonna fuck this up. I'm oh gonna focus God. for a second. We're not talking about old games anymore. This is easiest. This is the easiest part of the level. This is right. literally <laughs> the easiest part of the level, and I'm botching it, Jerry. I'm botching <laughs> it. Look at there's the air right there. Okay. Well, here we go. I just wanted, yeah, that fucking that Jurassic Park game. You can't beat that with without a guy. There's really? no way. It's insane. The Super Nintendo one. Yeah, you have to beat it that in one sitting. That game is terrifying. So I remember I had it. I had acquired a cartridge <sighs> in my teen teen years. Printed out the guide. From the old computer and i sat there for hours and played jurassic park Man. into the night when like friends were inviting me over and i was like almost done with this stupid fun game i swear to god and i beat the whole thing I'm proud of you, just dude. to say that i beat it yeah I watch the stupid cutscene of the t helicopter just takes off and <laughs> that's it you earned it though you have to do that for yourself on the games that matter yeah but i cheated but it doesn't matter because you have to cheat you didn't well you didn't like enter a cheat code you used a guide yeah, there's, just to do it in the fastest amount of time. And it took hours, so... See? Still. There you go. He did it, people. Look. Here's the deal. Next time... We're gonna fight We're gonna fight the guy. We're, we're at the tip of the tower, the tippity top of... We're at the top of the shaft. The and angry shaft. we're gonna take on... We're gonna take on the black guy. We're gonna take on Altair. Altair... However you like it, we're gonna do it. Black guy shaft. Tune in for that. Customized to Angry your preferences. Shaft. Black guy. There you go. That's hash. Put it together. Hashtag it and mail your mom. Goodbye.